Hey, welcome in, y'all. I'm Z Voss. I'm going to give you some thoughts on the new Fortnite season, Chapter 5, Season 3. Things are weird, man. We got cars driving all over the place. Okay, so uh, let me give you a rundown, and I have some thoughts on a nerf that we could do that might even the playing field against these cars a little bit. Just stay tuned for that. Okay, first off, let's talk about weapons. Uh, the new weapon, the, uh, what's it called? The Boom Bolt. I have my notes over here. The Boom Bolt. Uh, I just call it the crossbow, but it's called a Boom Bolt, and it's, uh, it's pretty good. It does good damage on cars. It doesn't do the splash damage against people that you'd expect. Um, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in that. Uh, it's not like the repeater rifle was back a few seasons ago. If you remember the, re the, the repeater rifle and uh, shock waving up in the air and just shooting down and just toasting everybody, it was that was awesome. But um, it doesn't do anything like that, or it's, it's not even like the Wookiee Bowcaster was last season. So it's a little disappointing, but I'll still carry it as a distance weapon. But other than that, it's not a big deal. Nitro Fist. Um, I consider more of a movement item than a weapon, but, but some people use it as a weapon. It can do some good damage. The pistol is, is still good. I like it. Higher rarities. It's great. Hand cannon, I don't really have a spot for right now, um, unless I don't have a shotgun. I may use it in my first slot as a shotgun kind of thing. Um, the Warforged, I can't control much very well, at least not as well as the other guns. Um, the Huntress DMR is kind of, there's no long range fights really. And there's very, very few. And that's where the Huntress DMR really shines is in those long range fights. But the, since there's so many cars, everyone's in a car. There's so many cars. But, um, so I just don't carry it. Let me know if you carry it. I don't, I don't know if it were, I don't know. I don't really, I haven't seen many people actually do. So I'll carry a Thunderburst. A harbinger or attack before I will carry a, an enforcer pistol hand cannon DMR or warforged now let's get into some movement um, there's of course cars uh, there's the nitro fists and there's shockwaves and I think my first choice is nitro fists because uh, you can move and it, it regenerates so you don't have to keep finding more like you do the shockwaves I love the shockwaves that I've been using those for a few seasons now, but um, they uh, run out. I'm not finding them as plentiful. But one thing that we can add to that is nitro because it helps your movement, of course. Nitro splash, nitro barrels, those big honking nitro rings that a person, a player can jump through those nitro rings too and just go flinging. Uh, it's uh, good times. I dig it. I dig the nitro. Um, some of the things I didn't know about the nitro, um, I, you know, it makes you go fast and all that good stuff, but there's a few things that it affects players, and that's uh, explosive bashing power. Um, and so you can knock through, you can run through builds if you play build mode. I'm a zero build player right now. I'm going to get into builds later, but zero build player. Um, so you can run through walls and stuff, I think. You can do that kind of thing uh reduce stamina consumption faster reload speed which is very cool uh but fall damage immunity i didn't know about that so um i don't know if everyone did so because i mean we're, we're only like four days in four or five days in to the new season but fall damage immunity players take no damage from falls if you got the nitro so if you're like, I guess if you're like up on island and you think you're going to get kicked off or whatever, just take some nitro and if you get kicked off, no biggie. Well, that's kind of cool. Um, but I would like to talk about cars right now. I have an idea for cars to nerf the whole car thing. Okay. Uh, but check this out. One of the big problems that I have this season is that cars can go to a gas station and completely heal up 100%. I think that's 
that's OP. That's too much. I think that's just too much. I think cars should... I think cars shouldn't do that, but let's try to meet halfway. Maybe if cars could only get to 50%. They could only heal up to 50%. One, they would need to keep going back to those places so they wouldn't be able to roam free for as long and take all the damage that they need to. They would have to, they would only be able to take less damage before they had to go back to one. So that may give opportunities to destroy them quicker. Um, that may help kind of even playing fields a little bit. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know in the comments what you think of that idea. Um, and now let's move on. Let's move on to heals. I love the Nuka Cola. Okay, last season the banana was awesome uh, because you could take it, you heal your green health, white health. Some people call it white health. I don't know why it's green. It's a green bar, but people call it white. Um, that may go back in Fortnite history. I don't know, but uh, let me know why they call it whites in the comments because I never understood that when it's a green bar of health. So let me know. But anyways. Um, it heals it, it it healed that as you were moving around you just pop the banana and then you can go do stuff you can go reload your weapons you can go hop in a car or whatever and it and so the nuka cola does the same thing with your shield up to 75 75 i think that's significant um and you, you drink it real quick you just pop it boom and uh it doesn't take you know like a big pot long you know that amount of time so I really dig that. Um, but as far as fast heals, I have a question for you. Drop in the comments if you know, um, are shield fish still in the game? I, I haven't been fishing this season yet, so I don't know uh, as of right now. I don't know if you can get the floppers or the, or the, or the shield fish because those are instant heals. I think shield, the shield fish were like 40. You got 40 shield from it. Which would be great in like in games and stuff. They always were great in in games. It, um, so let me know. Um, and then, oh yeah, the cactus. The cactus is kind of cool that it heals your car. Maybe we should just leave cactus in and just forget about the gas station healing cars. You have to hit those cact. You have to find cactus all over the map and heal your car. Maybe we give those a wee bit of a buff for car heals and just eliminate gas stations gas station heals i don't know i'm down we, we gotta we gotta t these cars gotta take it easy man these cars gotta take it easy so um and they heal the people uh cactus it heals the driver uh, or you can just walk up to them and uh, pickaxe them it's awesome uh i'm down with that the cactus is kind of cool now we're down to some thoughts this is where things are gonna get I don't know. Shots may be fired here, okay? I do it with all due respect. I love my Fortnite players. All of us. There's millions of us. But I'm going to talk to you for a second. Okay. The strength of cars this year has changed the game fundamentally than from seasons past, from chapters past. Okay? This is different. Some people are mad very mad and proclaiming to not play the game uh, because of these cars that are in the game now here's what here's my thoughts on on that is that for so many years for a, a few years now and uh, a few a couple chapters a few seasons we've basically had the same types of loadouts we didn't have to really change much we still got them kind of the same, but fundamentally, we've had the same one. We had like shotgun, spray weapon, maybe a distance weapon, some movement, some heal. And then as a zero build player, since zero build came out, as a zero build player, you use your environment and um, use your movement and your environment. And as long as you have those things, then you can dominate your lobby and you can get your wins. And then the next season rolls around and you got maybe mythics you pop in and out of there, whatever. Um, but it's it's the same, it's more the same, basically. Just things look different, map looks a little different. As soon as you learn it, you're on again. You're dominating your lobbies with your same loadout, 
with your same techniques. Same, same, same. And you're king of the world. And uh, chapter five, season three rolls around. The bottom drops out a little bit because now it don't work so well. So now those people who have been dominating for so long, doing the same thing over and over again, losing, and they're mad. And right, I mean, I get it. The game that they have learned how to play and dominate isn't really there right now. It fundamentally changed. And instead of rising to the challenge of the new season and figuring out the new way to get back to that dominance you've had in years and seasons past, they quit or they threaten to quit. And they leave and get angry. I understand it. I mean, if they changed like football and brought in like baseball rules or something, I'd be pissed. This is kind of what it's like. You're playing Fortnite Battle Royale and they brought in Rocket League. I mean, what are you doing? Right? But it is a challenge. But here's the thing. I think a lot of us are up to the challenge. I think a lot of us want to get better. I think a lot of us want to get back to the winning ways and want to dominate these lobbies. Just like well, you guys do. I never really dominate a lobby, but I'm trying, okay? So please, if you could do me a favor, if you like the video, drop a like on it, okay? Um, drop a comment. I'd love for you to be here and hang out with us. And until next time, I wish you all peace.